So today we're going to talk a little bit about things that attach to lenses um, using filter adapters. This is an LED ring flash, uh, actually a really cheap one. I uh, got this one for um, about $25 on eBay. Uh, it's actually a fairly nice little unit. It uses a series of little adapter rings to attach to whatever lens you're using. So these, these rings uh, include a 77 millimeter one. And the Hasselblad lenses have a um, little adapter for uh, drop-in filters. And this would be part of many uh, Hasselblad kits. The one I have is a what's called a uh, Bay 8 adapter. And that's the kind of bay that they have on the Hasselblad, on the Zeiss lenses for the Hasselblad. This is called a Bay 8. So that's the size of this ring. It has these three notches in it. And to get from the Bay 8 to a screw-on standard, I need to adapt it. So since the Bay 8 adapter that is available from for the Hasselblad adapts up to a 67, and there, there it is with a 67. So this is a Photodiox 67 to um, 77 adapter that I got. That's going to allow me to hook my ring flash up to my Hasselblad Zeiss lenses. So there it is, the bay adapter to the 67 to 77. And then all I need to do is get the uh, 77 adapter. Let me put that out of the way. Get the 77 adapter um, for the flash. Screw that on. Yep, it fits. Good. So now uh, the ring flash itself, it has uh, little grabbers in here. There's four of them around the edge that you engage with these buttons on the side. So I'm going to just engage those around the... This has a groove in it. If you look carefully, there's a groove right along there that this snaps into. So I'm going to go ahead and snap this in. So there's how the flash ring is going to adapt to the Hasselblad lenses. Now I have these three lenses out because I wanted to show you the three um, possibilities. This is a, a Sonar 250. Uh, this is a, a Sonar 150. And this is a Planar 80. I also have a, a 50 millimeter uh, Distagon, and that's my full lens kit for the, the Hasselblad. The nice thing about these three lenses, and it's different from the Distagon, is they have this Bay 8 ring. So I can adapt this filter ring to any of these. So there it is attached to the uh, 80 millimeter lens, and to put the uh, light ring on there, just uh, pop it in there. And now I have a lens uh, of the various filter adapters and the light ring. If I look through the lens, um, I can see that there's nothing being blocked around the edges, so I won't have any vignetting. That's good. So this, this will work very well on this lens. Now let's take a look at some of the other stuff I have here because I uh, might as well show you a little bit more about filters while I'm dealing with these filter adapter rings. These are my Koken filters. Um, I like to use them currently on my uh, Graflex cameras. Here's, here's an example. This is a um, 40.5 millimeter uh, to a 46 millimeter adapter ring. That then snaps, allows me to snap on the Koken filter like that. And then I can slip my filters into these, uh, these holders. The filters are actually square. Let me uh, pull, pull one of them out so you can see what they look like. This is one of the Koken filters here. It's a square filter. It's a uh, Koken filter there. So that slips into that carrier, which screws onto the front of the lens. There you go. So this lens is a uh, 40.5 uh, millimeter ring. So I would adapt this using this uh, 40.5 to 46. So that, that screws on there. Let me pull this out a little bit so you can see it a little better. 
And then the, this is a 46 millimeter token adapter. So I screw that on there. And what we end up with is the ability to attach Coke and filters, just like that. I'll put this uh, put this in place so you can see the whole setup. This holder here allows me to stack up to three filters simultaneously, and I can even extend it beyond that with this adapter, so you can go really wild with filters. And I have a whole box of Coke and filters here. Okay, well, I then hooked the uh, ring flash up to the lens. I don't have the camera out, but I don't need it. There's a little stand that comes with the ring flash, so I can set the controller there. And there's a pilot light I can hit that'll show us that the ring flash is working. There it is. And I can also turn it on as a continuous light. And what's nice, it doesn't need a recharge time. Older ring flashes would need a moment to recharge this being an LED ring flash, uh, responds very quickly. It also can be a continuous light. I can also control the brightness. It also has its hot shoes, so on cameras that communicate through a hot shoe, it will uh, communicate to fire the flash there. So this is, a, this is a pretty nice solution. I'm happy with it. Very inexpensive um, purchase from eBay. And I think it's going to serve my needs for a ring flash. The LEDs have opened up a whole new market in, um, in camera flashes. And I think for my purposes, this is going to be very effective. You would use a ring flash for macro photography or for portrait photography.